We're on to our sizzler picks for the John Deere Classic this week on the PGA Tour. We've gone through our re-ranked top 10. We have a lot of great picks in there this week. And now we're on to the sizzlers. Now these are guys that made jumps up in our re-ranking for many reasons. And well, the first guy is sitting at number 12 when we did the re-ranking. So just missing out on that top 10. Maverick McNeely at 45 to one. We've been on Maverick for a little while now. We picked him as a sizzler on a dark horse just a couple of weeks ago and he ended up finishing. Well, you know, he's had a lot of top 20 finishes kind of there or thereabouts, but this could be a great week for him to make that step up. Maverick McNeely, we've been talking about him, as you've noted there, Diane. He almost does it every week. He, maybe it's nine holes, maybe it's five holes, maybe it's three holes. I don't know that, but he does. And he's looking to put four rounds together. And I'm going to keep going with this because this kid is so solid. I mean, he was one of the, the, the best college players of all time. He's seen a lot of his friends all around him that are winning, and he's not. And he's close. And I'm telling you, Diane, this is as close as a player you'll ever see to emerge. Okay. Um, and that 21 coming at a, in Detroit last week for the Rocket Mortgage. His numbers are good when we look at all the numbers combined and rank them along with his form. He's coming in at fifth right now. So that jumped him up massively. What would you say is the strength of Maverick's game if you had to pick just one? Well, he's a very sort of a straight hitter. Very, you know, he's a very orthodox player and not, you know, he's got good power, good putter. Uh, you know, when I think of when I think of McNeely, Diane, I think just solid. And the only thing that separating him from the winner's circle is just right here, right up here in the head. And it's going to be, like I said, he's. I saw him on TV in Colonial. I saw him in Dallas. I saw him at Players. I, you know, he's just below the heat, is what we call it. Right, so Maverick McNeely is our first sizzler. Uh, coming in at number two is the guy who almost got it done at the Rocket Mortgage Classic. Troy Merritt had kind of come out of nowhere a little bit and um, we saw him as he was leading on Saturday card an ace, which was amazing to watch. It's not often that you see the leader of a tournament go out and get a hole in one. Made it to that playoff with Cam Davis, who eventually went on to win. But Troy Merritt at 40 to 1, the play that we saw from him last week, there's no reason why he can't take it in and take it one step further in Illinois. Yeah, I mean, what is his mindset today, Troy Merritt? You know, he was leading the tournament last week, as you noted, had a hole in one in the middle of the whole weekend. You know, was very quiet on Sunday till the back nine, got into the playoff, then finished up not winning the tournament. So what's left for him? He should be able to walk right back out on the golf course, go very automatic mode, just what we talked about, and just keep going. I mean, there's things to play for. There's FedEx points. There's money. There's all these things. And he 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 got a taste of it last week, Diane. This is a perfect setup. You don't think of his game as being all over the place. He's a straight hitter. When you start to think about what it takes on this golf course, it's Troy Merritt's game. And he's 62nd in the FedEx Cup ranking right now. That's an amazing number. Again, it's one of those, uh, if you were to say to me, do you think Troy Merritt is in the top 70 in the FedEx Cup standings right now? I'd probably say no. But then 62, he can really build on that number and take that form into this week. Yeah, he's a very quiet player, mm -hmm. like a Henley. Uh, just, you know, doesn't, you know, make a lot of noise with his game, but he was right there last week. And, and you know, I don't know what his mindset will be. Did he lose it? He went for the pin on the, whatever that sixth playoff hole was, which I actually thought everybody on that little par three was hitting at 20 feet right of the hole and nobody was making a birdie. And I, I, I thought, well, somebody's going to take a shot at this pin and try to hit it two feet below the hole. And he, he went for it and I give him credit for that. And then it cost, in the end it cost him, but um, he went for that little short pin and I'm, 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 I like to think, I like to see a player do that. So all those reasons, and that's why Troy Merritt is our second sizzler at 40 to one. And then our third, well, there's certain tournaments where you just think of certain names. And when you think of the John Deere Classic, this guy is definitely up there. 
He did the three peats, he's won it three times and he's coming off a victory on the Champions Tour. So we have Steve Stricker at 70 to one as our third sizzler. This is a perfect spot for Stricker. When, when I was playing on tour, Diane, this was the guy to beat on this tournament. And I'm not even sure if he's still not the guy to beat because he just came off winning the Players' Championship, Senior Players' Championship at Firestone, the hardest golf course on the planet. And what does it take on this course? You know, we talked about Paul Goitas. We've, we've talked about Zach Johnson, how straight he hits it, knocks it on the green, knocks it in the hole. Steve Stricker at 50, whatever he is, 52 years old, still can do it on this course, Diane. They love him up there. He has energy everywhere because he's the Ryder Cup captain that's coming to Whistling Straits in a month or so. So his eyes are everywhere. He's talking to all the players. His energy level is way up. Yeah. And he is probably going to play great this week again. What I love about Steve Stricker is he has been playing at such a high standard for such a long time and has taken that onto the Champions Tour. Obviously, we just saw that win. He just knows his game and he knows what he can do. He plays to his strengths and his strength week after week is the putter. I mean, you watch him and it doesn't matter where he is, you just think he can't miss. So when that part of your game has been good for so long and still is, I mean, you look at somewhere where he has such great history, no wonder his name is up in the mix this week. I'd like to see a pot off between Pat and Kazire and Steve Stricker for yeah. paid, for, paid for TV. <laughs> Those two guys are amazing. But yeah, Stricker, Stricker is unreal. The only thing that I can't do what he does, Diane. I couldn't have my wife caddy for me. That would be a disaster. So I don't know how they do it, but it works for them. I know. I see it week after week. Uh, Heavenly Westwood. And I'm like, wow, you guys have got, <laughs> you've got it figured out. The good thing is when they, uh, when they win the money, they, they don't have to give their caddy their own cut. They can keep all their money together. <laughs> or yeah, or the caddy gets extra cut. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a good point. So our three sizzlers, Maverick, McNeely, Troy, Merritt, and Steve Stricker.